I'm not gonna really go into super high detail depth about the whole situation when it comes to a new anime that's supposed to be coming out in October called, I wanna say, My Wife Got Reincarnated Into an Elementary School Student, which people have gone ballistic crazy over that damn title and just only the title alone. No other research required because that's how retarded Twitter people can actually be. But when it comes down to it, if you look further into the story, you'll know it's more about fixing a broken family. A wife that comes back from the damn dead in that type of body, but still comes back and tries to essentially, maybe potentially fix that damn family, reunite the father and daughter in some shape and form, and try to see what betterment can come out of it. And that's essentially what you're gonna get. Now, obviously, again, Twitter people being Twitter people, are taking it the, obviously the wrong way. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like that there probably isn't any type of Lou lolly joke that's within the damn comic. I'm not gonna sit here and act like there is no, you know, weird, crazy lolly thing that might end up happening, because most likely it is. You're adding a lolly to a story and they're the main focus. Most likely, nine times out of 10, when you have an anime or a manga like this, it's gonna happen in some point in time where something slightly lewd or something lewd in general might happen, and that's probably what's gonna happen. But at the very same time, Vic, is that the main focus? No, it is not. I don't know what it is about people when it comes down to the topic of lolly just in general, and I mean only lolly in general because Shota don't get this type of treatment, but when it comes down to it, anytime you have like a lolly character being involved in something, it's either we can't have this shit at all or it better be done in a very specific wholesome ass way, when in truth is, anime has been doing wild shit to lollies for years. If you're paying attention to it, which Twitter people do not do, to be honest, they have been involved in a lot of wilding things just across the board. Sure, it may not be as crazy as it once used to be, and yeah, anime may not be as gritty as it once used to be way back then, but at the very same time, that doesn't mean that they can't do it. They can absolutely do it. Hell, even when you're not watching anime and it's just Japan in their anime districts or sometimes just across certain billboards, you will see certain types of content that you would think shouldn't be shown, but is shown because that's just a part of their culture in a society just being in, just being honest with you hell this one guy was literally talking about this when i was scrolling on tiktok and i want you just to watch and understand where i'm coming from when it comes down to it i want to wear leggings in japan but you're technically not allowed to if wearing leggings in japan what's the problem what is this <laughs> what is that and then like the girls lined up Literally, look at that! With a sign saying, I'm like $10 an hour. <laughs> look at that. The whole line of girls. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> they are wearing something much, much worse, you know? <laughs> like a mini skirt with literally the leggings. What is it called? Is that leggings? The see through socks? <laughs> and then what? Legging, wearing leggings in Japan is a problem? I don't think so. I don't know. Worst thing is, the kids going home from school right next to them <laughs> and the signs of a hentai <laughs> and the kids are walking around you know the kids are walking around and then you say wearing leggings in japan is wrong i don't think so <laughs> so wear whatever you want to in japan okay so when it comes down to it it's essentially ingrained in their whole ass society sure they will not stand for that taken into like a real world context when it comes down to you know things of lolly and show the things in the anime obviously no one should stand for that shit but when it comes down to it though it is a part of with their entertainment industry. It is a part of what they do and somewhat what they are essentially. Hell, if you were looking back before anime and anything else was a thing, if you think about it, what feudal Japan was like and the types of weird, crazy things that happened back then. You had Orion geishas and all that type of stuff to come through, getting basically prostitutions and having parade for, you know, said prostitutes and all that sort of stuff. Again, things like this are just 
ingrained into that culture it is what it is when it comes down to it and you thinking that they can't do anything wild or crazy with a lolly character i think that's the last thing that anybody will be worried about right now to be very real with you the other thing i find funny about anytime somebody get mad about a lolly getting looted in some shape and form is that you don't ever say this shit about shoza shoza characters get this type of treatment as well and yet no one bats an eye or if they do bat an eye they be like yo that's really hot when it's the same damn thing it doesn't matter if it's the boy that's the main focus and it's an adult female person it does not matter it's still the same weird shit it does not matter what gender it is right it does not the same way people have not freaked about Edith and deities and miku and how she was basically getting her cheeks ran by multiple showed us like how does no one freak out about this but then when you have a lolly character get involved into something oh that's when all the ultimate freak outs end up happening it doesn't make any kind of sense it's kind of like how in weird and awful situations we have really crappy teachers come through try to mess with people from like high school or whatever and essentially if it's the female involved when it comes to them being a student and then everybody's like oh that's awful that's horrible and it is awful and horrible but when it comes down to a male student, you know, getting something from, you know, the female teacher or being forced into that situation, then everybody on the internet is like, oh yeah, let's, 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 let's go. He got him some today. He ain't gonna forget that. No, that's still effing bad. What are we talking about? So the fact that this doesn't carry over between the both genders really says a lot of things about just Twitter as a whole. Again, reinforcing that retarded ass mindset that a lot of people have. To be very real with you, whatever this story ends up being when it comes down to the story that people are freaking out about, I promise you, it's not even going to be half as bad as a lot of random stuff people has drawn and put lolly characters into over the years, honestly, and even decades at a time. It's not going to be as bad as a lot of people think it's going to be or sound it's like how it sounds in the title or anything like that it's not gonna be that damn bad and if it was going to be that much of a problem don't you think japan would have already solved the issue years ago like they tried to do that back in 2011 with the bill or act 156 which is supposed to stop you from drawing human female lolly characters in any sort of type of fiction or getting them involved in sort of things of lewd nature but obviously people found a way around it because of course they did artists was pissed at that decision so that's why you have people like tatsumaki who exists that's why you got people like rebecca who exists and all the sorts of other people that exist like khan as well she's not necessarily you know a full-blown human she's a dragon so it doesn't count if you put her in that type of situation which is why the manga of miss koyabashi dragon maid has you know crazy moments with her naked as all hell in you know some way and shape and form and you can get away with that type of stuff again yes japan might be slow on a lot of things but when it comes to things that actually kind of really matter and is really important and big they're probably going to handle that shit with the absolute guarantee that yeah it's a problem let's fix this to be real with you a lot of stuff that happens in anime or just in fiction in general it's not really the fiction and anime and the lolly characters and the shota characters that people should really be worried about and its perception it's just more so how we perceive stuff right and how we handle things because obviously if you're having a dark thought going through your mind that makes that might just tell you to do something bad you might not need to consume the media and if you don't like the fact that it's happening in that media and nothing has ever really changed from it then you might not want to be a part of it or consume it yeah you got these and to be honest people hate it so much or hate just anime in general so much that now that's why we have localizers and you know other type of asshole people come through trying to change the culture when in just general it really shouldn't have to be that way right and majority of people are not gonna let it get that point or gets that way you know so that's just how that goes and even if it was changed up and it, that couldn't be allowed anymore in japan's like animation or fiction or whatever guess what there's gonna be people that also carry that torch and wants to carry on doing whatever the hell they want to in fiction because at the day because at the end of the day it ain't real it doesn't necessarily matter my ass is still gonna be drawing or creating scenes in kokatsu with jay clapping the shit 
out of some lolly characters it is what it is nothing can be done so when it comes down to it it's just so annoying strange and just downright idiotic that people again do be freaking out as hard as they do when it comes to lollies and shit and then at the same time give no absolute dance about any real life person going through this type of thing either so it's just like at the end of the day everything across the board is just absolutely weird and messed up right so it's just it just it's just unfortunate really that's all this situation is when it comes down to it they can't necessarily perceive it because they can't see anything past their scope of their culture or outside of their own ideas and all the stuff sort of stuff that they can only perceive and things that they only want essentially so when it comes down to it we're not just fighting against you know antsies or people like that we're fighting against people that can't perceive anything past themselves that's really what that shit comes down to so overall i don't think this is anime i'm gonna necessarily watch for myself but at the very same time you know it's not gonna be anything crazy or bad but that's gonna basically do it for this one so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification on my outs also follow me on socials and you like to donate to the channel ko-fi and cash app is available as well and until next boy jay signing off have a blessed day